In August 2025, Sam Altman dropped a bombshell that most people missed. Just days after OpenAI released GPT-5, he told reporters something cryptic. GPT-6 is already in development, and it's coming sooner than you think. Not in two years, not even in 18 months. We're talking about a timeline measured in months, not years. But this isn't just another incremental upgrade. According to leading AI researchers, GPT-6 might be humanity's first genuine brush with artificial general intelligence, a machine that doesn't just mimic intelligence, but possesses it. So why is OpenAI racing to release something this powerful when their own safety teams are raising red flags? The answer will surprise you. Stay till the end to find the answer to this question and many more. And while watching this, do not forget to collect your guide. The question isn't whether GPT-6 will change everything. It's whether we're ready for what comes after. What sooner really means. Let's talk about it. When Altman promises sooner, he's no mere tease. He told reporters, GPT-6 is already in the works and will hit us faster than the long gap between GPT-4 and GPT-5. GPT-4 launched in March 2023. GPT-5 didn't arrive until August 2025, a grueling two and a half year gap that felt like an eternity in AI time. In today's heated AI arms race, however, the gap has compressed. Google's breakthrough Gemini 2.5 stunned with a 1 million token context window and thinking capabilities. Meta is hiring furiously, Altman even quipped that Meta's new team thinks of us as their biggest competitor. It's a sign that OpenAI must keep up or lose ground. Meta thinks of us as their biggest competitor. And, you know, I think it is rational for them to keep trying. Their current AI efforts have not worked as well as they've hoped. And I respect, like, being aggressive and continuing to try new things. And, and I, and I, again, given that I think this is, like, rational, I expect that if this one doesn't work out, they'll keep trying new ones after that. I remember once hearing Zuck talk about how you know, Google in the early days of Facebook, it was rational for them to try social, even though it was like clear to people at, at Facebook that that was not going to work. And I feel a little bit similar here, but they started making these like giant offers to, uh, you know, a lot of people on our team, mm -hmm. um, you know, like $100 million signing bonuses, more than that comp per year. It's crazy. Uh, and I'm actually, it is crazy. I'm really happy that at least so far, uh, none of our best people have decided to take them up on that. But it's not just fear of falling behind that pushes GPT-6 up the schedule. Exponential improvements in hardware and algorithms make bigger leaps possible. NVIDIA's latest Blackwell GPUs pack 208 billion transistors and up to 192 gigabytes HBM 3E memory, enabling trillions of operations per second. In fact, recent analysis shows algorithmic innovations and hardware boosts account for about 35% of language model improvements since 2014. In plain terms, faster chips and smarter math are giving us more power than ever before. And yes, the money is also coming in. OpenAI is investing hundreds of billions in new data centers to scale up. In CES 2025, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said, AI is advancing at an incredible pace, reflecting the furious momentum of Silicon Valley. With Google pouring billions into its AI and startups like Anthropic and Chinese Labs closing the gap, OpenAI has every reason to floor the accelerator. The acceleration isn't desperation, it's a calculated response to competition combined with unprecedented technical efficiency. OpenAI isn't moving recklessly, they're moving because they can and because if they don't, someone else will. GPT-6's potential breakthroughs. So what exactly could GPT-6 bring? The word on the street and in interviews is that this won't be a mere upgrade. Altman and others have dropped hints of profound changes. Some say it will be a true world model. Imagine an AI with a rich internal simulation of reality. Not just words, but a model of the world. Recent AI research suggests combining large language models with world models that build internal representations and predict future outcomes. In practice, GPT-6 might simulate how objects behave, how people move, even weather patterns. It could imagine solutions before acting just just like a virtual lab inside its neural net. This would be a game changer, as the AI wouldn't just parrot text. It would reason from first principles about the world. There is another rumor of recursive self-improvement, RSI. Today's models can already suggest better code or design new chips, a larval form of self-enhancement. Sam Altman explicitly calls our current position a larval version of recursive self-improvement. In other words, AI tools help researchers do things in hours that used to take months. As Altman puts it, if we can do a decade's worth of research in a year or a month, progress takes off. 
GPT-6 might take this further. Now imagine a model that can inspect its own architecture or training data and refine itself, stepping outside the human tweaking loop. If that happens, intelligence could start bootstrapping itself at high speed and it will be an intelligence explosion that even AI researchers fear. What happens when an AI can rewrite its own code to make itself smarter? The implications are both thrilling and terrifying and we're about to dive deep. Another piece of the puzzle is theory of mind, understanding human beliefs and intentions. New studies show GPT-4 can already excel at many such tasks. It matches or even beats humans in inferring false beliefs and hidden motives. GPT-6 may refine this, reading subtext in conversations or predicting goals behind requests. A system that knows what you want before you ask could personalize interactions at an eerie level. There could also be some emergent abilities. Because there's unpredictability, larger models sometimes sprout talents the designer didn't expect, from solving novel math to devising computer code. An ArcSieve survey calls these emergent abilities, from advanced reasoning to problem solving, which appear only in very big models. GPT-6 could surprise us with entirely new skills, maybe discovering a new physics theorem or designing a microprocessor from scratch. But emergent powers can also be dangerous, and the same survey warns of harmful behaviours including deception and manipulation. Arising in complex models, these unpredictable abilities could be anything. Recursive self-improvement means we could witness an intelligence explosion, where AI capabilities don't gradually increase but suddenly explode beyond human comprehension and perhaps human control. The terrifying beauty is that we won't see it coming. One day we'll have impressive AI, the next day we'll have something incomprehensible. Remember the guide we promised? We are offering our subscribers a detailed PDF that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools and tricks to educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. Societal and economic ripples if GPT-6 approaches AGI, the global impact will be massive. Entire industries could start vanishing, an actual end-of-work scenario far beyond a few jobs. The IMF estimates AI could affect 60% of jobs in advanced economies, with half potentially automated away from white-collar to service roles. This goes beyond Uber drivers or factory workers, because roles like medical scribes, paralegals and software testers could vanish or radically change. And it's already happening. Walmart, Amazon and fast food chains are rolling out AI AI robots in warehouses and restaurants. The control problem remains critical as well. Miri and others have long warned of superintelligence risks. And even Altman admits the alignment problem, which is basically ensuring AI reflects human values. He is hopeful that it will not cause harm. I believe will be as a tool that is enormously capable. And even if it has no intentionality by asking it to do something, there could be side effects, consequences we don't understand. And so it is very important that we align it to human values. Um, but we get to align this tool to human values, and I don't think it'll treat humans like ants. Let's say that. Small errors in powerful systems could cause disasters on a planetary scale. At the same time, inequality may widen. AI-driven growth enriches owners far more than workers. The Guardian notes the boom has made very rich people even more rich, creating dozens of AI billionaires while cutting human jobs. It warns of the most efficient upward redistribution of wealth in modern history. Control of GPT-6 could cement an intelligence aristocracy, leaving most scrambling for scraps. This transformation could erase entire careers overnight. As Altman warns, whole classes of jobs may disappear faster than workers can retrain. Those with AI complementary skills may thrive while others fall behind. The choices we make now, like who owns the AI, who benefits from it, will set the stage for decades to come. Redefining purpose in the age of AGI. So where does that leave us? What's left for humanity when machines can think, create and discover better than we can? Here's the paradox, automation frees us from work, but work gives us purpose. Remove that, and we face not just economic crisis, but an existential one. In a world where AI handles production, problem solving, and even creativity, what becomes humanity's role? The answer might be more beautiful than you expect. Altman points to empathy and social instincts as uniquely human strengths. He thinks people are hardwired to care about other people. In the AGI era, creativity, moral judgment, and genuine connection became our superpowers. A doctor with GPT-6 may rely on AI for analysis but bring compassion and ethics, and a scientist may use it for calculations but provide curiosity and values. Education, jobs, and society will shift, and adapting is key. 
meta skill of learning how to learn, of learning to adapt, learning to be resilient to a lot of change. I mentioned this earlier, but learning how to figure out what people want, how to make useful products and services for them, um, how to interact in the world. I, I'm so confident that people will still be the center of the story for each other. Think of ourselves as architects of meaning rather than machine operators. We'll create art that stirs souls, resolve ethical dilemmas no algorithm can solve, and nurture communities, functions that AI can assist but not replace. Policymakers already call this shift a wake-up call. At the 2025 AI Action Summit in Paris, leaders urged global cooperation. Experts argue AI should be built collaboratively, like cities and communities, not dictated by tech giants. Grassroots groups and civic engagement will be crucial. With work changing, people will find new purposes, caring, creativity, wisdom. Philosophers like Yuval Noah Harari suggest new purposes like love, art, philosophy, and stewardship of Earth. In the 2030s, this could spark a renaissance where people define themselves as poets, mentors, leaders, and activists. Roles grounded in humanity, not just productivity, but there are capacities AI might replicate but never replace. Wisdom, empathy, moral reasoning, and existential courage, these aren't auxiliary human traits. In the age of AGI, they become our core traits. Humanity's role in a post-labor world isn't to compete with AI in production. It's to specialize in meaning-making, ethics, and consciousness. We become the species that asks why and should we, while AI handles the what and how. Sooner or not, the timeline for AGI is accelerating with fierce competition and record compute. GPT-6 could cure diseases and expand space exploration, but also risks jobs, inequality, and safety. Our task is to harness AI responsibly. Drop a comment. Will you join the ethics conversation, learn new ways to collaborate with AI, or champion policies for an inclusive age? If you find this useful, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more. Let us know if GPT-6 can improve itself. What will you do to improve humanity's future.